Hello everyone. Emergence of new forces. Socialist ideas, youth power, trade unionism. The third decade of the 20th century is a watershed in modern Indian history in more ways than one. While on the other one hand, this period marked the entry of Indian masses into the national movement. On the other hand, this period saw the basic crystallization of the main political currents on the national scene. These diverse political currents owed their origin partly to coming on the scene of the Gandhian philosophy of Satyagraha based on truth and non-violence as they embodied a positive or negative reaction to it. The international influence on Indian political thinkers during this phase was also more pronounced than before. The new forces to emerge during the 1920s included the following ideas and movements. Spread of Marxist and Socialist Ideas Ideas of Marx and Socialist thinkers inspired many groups to come into existence as socialists and communists. These ideas also resulted in the rise of a left wing within the Congress represented by Jawaharlal Nehru and Subhash Chandra Bose. These young nationalists inspired by the Soviet revolution and dissatisfied with Gandhian ideas and political program began advocating radical solutions for economic, political and social ills of the country. These younger nationalists were critical of both Swarajis and No Changers, advocated a more consistent anti-imperialistic line in the form of a slogan for Purna Swarajya complete independence, were influenced by an awareness through those still vague of international currents, stressed the need to combine nationalism and anti-imperialism with social justice and simultaneously raised the question of internal class oppression by capitalists and landlords. The Communist Party of India CPI was formed in 1920 in Tashkent, now the capital of Uzbekistan by M. N. Roy, Abani, Mukherjee and others after the Second Congress of Comintern. M. N. Roy was also the first to be elected to the leadership of Comintern. In 1924, many communists essayed Dange Muzaffar Ahmed, Shaukat Usmani, Nalini Gupta were jailed in the Kanpur Bolshevik conspiracy case. In 1925, the Indian Communist Conference at Kanpur formalized the foundation of the CPI. In 1929, the government crackdown on communists resulted in the arrest and trial of 31 leading communists trade unionists and left-wing leaders, they were tried at Meerut in the famous Meerut conspiracy case. Workers and peasants parties were organized all over the country and they propagated Marxist and communist ideas. All these communist groups and workers and peasants parties remained an integral part of the national movement and worked along with the Congress. Activism of Indian Youth All over students leagues were being established and students conferences were being held. In 1928, Jawaharlal Nehru presided over the All Bengal Students Conference. Peasants Agitations In the United Provinces, peasants agitations were for revision of tenancy laws, lower rents, protection against eviction and relief from indebtedness. Similarly, peasant agitations took place in the Rampa region of Andhra and in Rajasthan in Raithwari areas of Bombay and Madras. In Gujarat, the Bardoli Satyagraha was led by Vallabhai Patel 1928. Growth of Trade Unionism The trade union movement was led by All India Trade Union Congress AITUC founded in 1920. 
Lala Lajpat Rai was its first president and Devan Chaman Lal is its general secretary. Tilak was also one of the moving spirits. The major strikes during the 1920s included those in Karakpur Railway Workshops, Tata Ayan and Steel Works, Jamshanpur, Bombay Textile Mills. This involved only 15,000 workers and went on for five months. And Buckingham Carnatic Mills. In 1928, there were a number of strikes involving 5 lakh workers. In 1923, the first May Day was celebrated in India in Madras. Caste Movements as in earlier periods, the varied contradictions of the Indian society found expression in caste associations and movements. These movements could be divisive, conservative and at times potentially radical and included Justice Party Madras, Self-Respect Movement 1925 under Periyar E.V. Ramasamy Nayakar Madras, Satya Sodak activists in Satara Maharashtra, Bhaskar Rao Jadav, Maharashtra, Mahars under Ambedkar, Maharashtra, Radical Elavas under K. Ayyappan and C. K. Seven in Kerala, Yadavs in Bihar for improvement in social status, Unionist Party under Fazil L. E. Hussain, Punjab, Revolutionary Activity with a Turn Towards Socialism. This line was adopted by those dissatisfied with the nationalist strategy of the political struggle with its emphasis on non-violence. Here too, two strands developed. Hindustan Republic Association HRA in Punjab, UP, Bihar, Yugantar Anushilan groups and later Sitagang Revolt group under Surya Sen in Bengal. Like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you. Bye.